gosh, I have every Sonic Prime figure there is. I'm just missing one more. What the heck? Yes? Here's your stupid toy. Man, it's still cool. Oh, all right, oh my gosh. Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Speed Super Sonic. You guys, another video in this video today is the long anticipated video. We're gonna be reviewing every single Sonic Prime figure. Now to be specific, we're gonna be going over the five inch line. It appears that Jack Pacific is now finished with their Sonic Prime five inch line. It's been a few good months, a lot of months actually, since we've received the last Sonic Prime wave of figures. So I think it's better time than ever to finally get into all of these. I promised you guys a review of the first wave, so instead, we're gonna be going over every single Sonic Prime figure. I was just waiting on this bad boy right here, so let's let's just open it up. Firstly, though, I need to get these guys out of the way. All right. Damn, Amazon really did not care. They just tossed these in, no packaging, no nothing. Oh yeah, I got a Funko Pop, too. I guess we'll just put him like right there. But this was the last guy we were needing, Sonic Trooper. So, without any further ado, we're not gonna start with this. In fact, I think this is probably the last figure we'll go over. We're gonna go ahead and get started with Wave 1. All right, so this is the first wave of Sonic Prime figures. We have Mr. Dr. Eggman, Sonic from New York City, Tails 9, and Thorn Rose. Um, one of the coolest things I can say about all of these, we're gonna start off with Sonic because we're gonna break down the packaging of this. Here we have Sonic right here. Absolutely love this guy. Now, one of the biggest things about these figures is the fact that they are five inches. I believe this was Jax's first go at five inch figures, which we have now seen has translated over to the Sonic Movie 3 figures, which are also now five inches. This has allowed for a lot more detail, as I'm sure you can see in just the packaging alone. That is very much so the case. I like the packaging. Jax has always had very, very nice packaging with their figures, but something I will say, something I will say is that there's a lot of cardboard on here compared to a lot of the other Sonic related figures they have, whether it's main series or movie three, like this right here, very cardboard heavy. So if you're looking to display these, you not only need to find a box that's already in good shape, uh, you gotta protect it very nicely. This is in pretty decent condition, but I'm sure we'll come across a lot of others where this corner is like kinda like curved and bent and all that stuff, and the back of this box is actually kinda dent. Still a very big fan of the packaging, it's very Sonic Prime-esque. Very much so leaning into the whole multiverse aspect of things. I love the Sonic render they have, you have the logo, Netflix right there, I wonder how much money they got for these toys. You have the name of the character and the dimension where they're from, which is one of my favorite aspects of this. I love how that's how they were able to like differentiate the different characters. This is the New York City Sonic, which I very much so love. You have some Paradox Prism art right there, and then on the back, you can see all of these details. We have 13 points of articulation, very, very nice. You have a little bio for Sonic that said, Sonic runs at top speed and can use his special homing attack ability to destroy robots and protect his friends. Then you have some images of the figure in action and the other characters in the wave, which is very, very nice. You can collect them all. And then some of the other companies attached to the show. But without any further ado, do you think it's time for us to open this bad boy up, Jakari? Oh yeah. All right, so let's dive into the figure himself. We're just gonna open this up. We're not gonna be particularly careful with any of the packaging because putting all this on display, yeah, it comes out right like that and boom there he is the sonic prime five inch figure so far what i can tell it's pretty solid what i'm seeing is he's not standing on his feet particularly steady like i don't get like a sense of like this is like stable so far i'm really not trying to come out of the gates with too many critiques here but um yeah so far just like the stability of him standing it's a little awkward as you can see like this shoe is a little high up, but it's it's fine enough, you know? And I do have him bent over a little bit to get that standing position. It's definitely due to the shoes, which, by the way, everything on this figure looks amazing. You can see all the detail on the shoes, like that. 
which is, looks very, very nice, very cool. There's even hand detail. You can see the sculpting in there to have like a specific hand position for Sonic with this hand and a different one with this one as well. Very, very nice, very detailed. You can also see quill detail on Sonic himself as well, all around the head of the figure, which is also very common with, you know, the Sonic Prime show. I am a fan of the eyes, but I'm also not a fan of the eyes. The color is a little off. It's a little too lime greeny for my liking for Sonic, but um, in terms of like the other stuff, it does look like Prime Sonic. If you were to point this figure out to me, like without the shoes or without the gloves, I'd still know that this is Prime Sonic. Yeah, it's still very cool. It's very detailed. I think this would be a great figure. There's still Sonic Prime figures in stores, so you can go pick this figure in particular up if you want. Yeah, in terms of him standing, it's solid, but I definitely would have liked for a more, you know, stable stand. But and honestly, low key. This complaint is kind of irrelevant now because the shoes are just so cool that it's kind of worth like the stance being kind of like awkward with the figure because like there's literal textures on the shoes and it's so detailed. There's like no paint mishaps. I'm seeing they even got like lining around the gloves. They really stepped up their game with this and I think it being an extra inch definitely helped them in accomplishing that goal. So yeah, very cool, very happy with this figure. And that is just the first one in the wave so far. So we're just gonna set Prime Sonic off the other side right here, is gonna stand him right there and move on to our next character. Which one do you think we should do next, Jakari? Should we do Tails9, Mr. Dr. Eggman, or Thorn Rose? Mmm, Thorn Rose. Thorn Rose? Alright, bet. Alright, so next up we have Thorn Rose. All packaging is the same except for the fact it says Boss Cage Maze and her name. So that is the dimension she's from. Has the same amount of points of articulation as Sonic. And uh, her description reads Thorn is a version of Amy who is all protect the environment. And Zero, let's be friends. So that is very true. One of the worst parts of season one. But you know what? The figure itself looks pretty sick. So I'm excited to get up to this. Alright, so one of the things I like, I'm not sure if this is a positive or not in like the collecting community, but there are no zip ties. Oh, wait, there is a zip tie. Alright, so firstly, this is incredibly detailed. This looks amazing so far. You can see, let's go ahead and put the hammer in her hand. Get in there. Awesome. So, not only will that be able to, like, kind of keep her up with some extra positioning, almost like a third leg, you can see, like, all of the amazing detail inside of the figure. She has her tattoo right there. You have, like, the little horn and put inside of her hair, the, like the earrings, like that. There's some paint smudges in there, but that's perfectly fine, considering this is like a $15 figure from Target. You can see the teeth detail, all of that, the design on the camo, all of this. It is like almost insane how detailed this is and how they were able to pull this off, and especially for its retail price. Very impressive, very happy with this figure. I honestly think I might like this figure in particular more than the Sonic one. I'm not talking about the character in the show. I know people People don't really like Thorn Rose and Sonic Prime, but I really do like this figure a lot. I think this one's pretty, pretty sick. It looks like it stands pretty well too. This one just feels a little more sturdy and also a little more high quality, which is interesting, but I very much so like this figure a lot. So I'm very happy to add this one to the collection. So that is Thorn Rose out of the way. All right, so next up we got Tails9, we got Mr. Dr. Eggman. Who should we? Let's do Eggman. Eggman, all right, but you're a Tails hater, aren't you? Oh my mm -hmm. God. Alright, so we have Mr. Dr. Eggman from New York City, also 13 points of articulation. Mr. Dr. Eggman is in his 40s. He is the closest in intelligence and temperament to Dr. Eggman Prime. I love how they specify that he's in his 40s. That's an interesting piece of information to give, but I actually did not know that. So thank you, Jack Specific, for all the Sonic Prime lore. Oh my god, his hair has articulation. That's crazy. Alright, so here he is. There are no accessories with him, kind of similar to Sonic. But like I mentioned when I was pulling him out, his hair literally flips around. That is such a fun little detail. Also, just the design on him is so good. It's amazing what they were able to accomplish simply by making these figures five inches. One of my favorite things about all the Sonic Prime characters are their shoes. It kind of resembles the bumpers from the games in a way. A lot of this is down to the design of the character, so naturally it looks good. But yeah, this guy looks sick. Absolutely love him. I love the details like his mustache being upside down. Once again, that hair. I think the hair makes this like one of the best features of this character. So this one is super sick. I love this guy. One of my favorite Eggman figures, honestly, because we don't get too much Eggman merch in the grand scheme of Sonic stuff, so this one is very, very cool. And especially of a character we probably won't be receiving merchandise of for a very, very long time, so this is cool. And that just leaves one more 
and that is one of the main characters of Sonic Prime, and that is Nine, or Tails Nine, as they specified, so they can sell more figures. This guy is insane. You want to know why, Jakari? Why? This guy has 70 points of articulation. 70. 70 points of articulation. For comparison, every other figure was 13 points. It's got 70 points of articulation, and you'll, you're probably going to find out why. Already I can tell. This guy's significantly heavier than the other figures. Yeah, this guy's pretty sick so far, but let's read his bio first. A loner by choice, Tails9 has an edge to him due to years of honing his survivor's instinct. A lot of talk about the Nine character from Sonic Prime, but I am particularly a fan, even if I didn't watch season three. I'm, uh, I was still satisfied overall with the character, and I thought it was a very interesting choice for a villain for a Sonic show. So let's go ahead and try to bust this guy out. Oh, that was interesting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, now let's get this back on there. There we go. Oh my god, finally. That took way too long. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the nine figure. Oh my, how am I gonna get this guy to stand up? I guess I can just like extend his limbs. Do you want your nine tails to be displayable? Um, if the answer is yes, well, too bad. There we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. He will be taking up a lot of room, but, you know, you can eventually get him to stand up. All right, now let's get into the figure himself now that we got all the other stuff out of the way. Looks incredible. You can see all the detail on the character, especially on the back of the head. You can see all the designs sculpted in there on the back of the head and the ears. I love the expression that they were able to give him. They didn't just give him a blank stare or anything like that. Love that. You got his shoes, which are nice and detailed. The design, you even got that little blue piece right there which is awesome obviously he has all of his like robotic limbs there are one two three four five six seven of them and that's partially what leads towards this figure having 70 points of articulation so that is the tails nine figure this thing is sick this thing is super cool one of my favorite characters from sonic prime one of my favorite sonic villains even if you know the ending of sonic prime wasn't perfectly handled still very much so like the character like the design of the character and like this figure it's still very cool though i'm gonna be holding on to this and excited to add him to the collection very cool figure all right next up we have wave two of that was four we have wave two of the sonic prime figures and this one is really short after wave one later on in the year of 2023 yeah the sonic prime merchandise released just a little later than the show premiered but this one included some of the boss cage maze figures shadow the hedgehog who plays a major role in sonic prime and then rusty rose who was also a larger character in the show as well so very excited to get into this wave and see if it's better than the first wave of Sonic Prime figures. So, which one should we start with, Jakari? Oh, let's do Shadow. Shadow? That's a good idea. Alright, so, here he is. We got Shadow the Hedgehog right here. They're saying he's from the Boss Cage Maze, but an interesting thing is... I don't think Shadow ever goes to the boss cage maze in Sonic Prime, so that's interesting. I don't know if that's an error or what, but this isn't a misprint. This is just what they put on the figure, even though this is very much so not true, but let's take a look. Also has 13 points of articulation like a majority of the other figures. With his distinct black and red colors, amazing speed and raw power, Shadow the Hedgehog is not to be messed with. I really loved how large of a role Shadow had in Prime. Kind of like led up into the year of Shadow with season 3 ending really early this year in January, I believe. Always cool when we get Shadow content. Shadow X Sonic content. There we go. And there he is, everyone's favorite black and red hedgehog. It's looking very cool, looking very schmexy. One of my favorite things about the Sonic Prime figures is the hand sculpting they did. This is, I believe, the first hand that is completely closed on any of these figures, so you can't really do anything with this one. Uh, this one is like gripping something. All right, they got the bottom of the shoe design details as well. There are pegs which is very interesting on the bottom of this. Let me check this out. Yes, I forgot to mention, not only is there detail on the other bottom of the shoes, but you can see that there are peg holes. So there very well might have been plans for play sets or other things with the Sonic Prime figures where more accessories or like vehicles or stuff could have been implemented that they just decided not to go with. Maybe it's because the show was like relatively short lived, but one of my favorite shadow figures. I also love once again, how it does look like the Sonic Prime character version of him. So you can very much so see the seam lines at the top of the head, but outside of that, it's still pretty solid. Yeah, that's the shadow figure. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the Knuckles, since this is the first Knuckles that they released. It's the Gnarly Knuckles, also from Boss Cage Maze, like we said. 13 points of articulation, and Gnarly Knuckles is extremely paranoid, convinced 
convinced that all of his home-baked conspiracy theories are true. He is an Alex Jones fan. Nobody watching this video is gonna understand that. <laughs> Bam! Oh shoot. There he is. There is Gnarly Knuckles. If you would be so kind to stand up, young man. I love the detail on this. You can see his little leaf shoes, which is so cool. It's tied together. You can see all the details in there. And also, one of the most amazing paint features is the fact you can see some of the aging on the leaf towards the top of some of the browning which I love as well as with his gloves you can see some of the thorns with some of the purplish pink on there and then the designs around his quills his tail all of that looks very cool very tribal his little green leaf bucket hat which is such a cool little detail the character designers for this show absolutely cooked when it came to a lot of these characters so love that love the little necklace he has very cool once again no accessory I don't believe any of the characters in this wave have an accessory. I believe the only character that had an accessory so far was the Boss Cage Maze, Amy. I like this one a lot, and for the first Knuckles figure, I'm glad they did something different. There's so many traditional Knuckles figures out there. I'm really happy they went forward with this one right here, so this is very, very cool. What do you think of this one, Chikari? Pretty good. Have you even watched Sonic Pro? He's shaking his head now. It's fine, chat. All right, so next up we have Rusty Rose. This is our first New York City character in quite a while. Also has 13 points of articulation. There's a hair on it. Oh my god. An emotionless, mechanically enhanced hedgehog. Rusty is more machine than mammal. Overly logical and detached disposition. All right, I know all the kids who are gonna buy this figure know how to say disposition. I know what that word means. I think they accomplished their goal pretty well. You can see the parts that are robot and not. Like all of the lower body essentially is entirely robotic and it, they did a very good job at showing that. You can see a lot of the wear and tear, making it look very metal. I hope the light that's glaring off of it can show that off a bit. But you can also see the part that is not, like a lot of her face right here which you can see is very normal Amy but then you have the rest of the parts that show that it's very much so robotic which is very cool some of the neck is exposed but it is on a ball joint so can swivel it around a bit you know not too much but the detail is very great once again not too much articulation yeah I like this one a lot I think Rusty Rose is one of the better characters from Sonic Prime one of my favorite characters from Sonic Prime yeah very happy with how this one turned out there are some paint errors some of the pink you know, dripping down onto the uh, muzzle right there. But that is perfectly okay, because the rest of the figure is so cool. I love how they included like a metal version of her headband. Love these parts right here. These parts are very rubbery, so you're not actually gonna get hurt with any of those, so don't worry. I, I like the Boss Cage one a bit more than this one, but this one is still very, very cool. I think it just had an accessory or stuff, or honestly, if all the figures had accessories, no matter how big or small, would have made these infinitely like the best Sonic toy line period, but still very happy with this nonetheless. So we're gonna put Amy over there. I think that's our first duplicate figure, and that is of Rusty Rose, but we have another duplicate character coming up, and that is Sonic, but this time he's from the Boss Cage Maze, the worst part of the Sonic Prime show, but gosh darn, they made a lot of toys of it. On the back, 13 points of articulation. Sonic runs at top speed and can use his special homing attack ability to destroy robots and protect his friends. It's the same exact bio as the back of this one. Ooh. Oh, you like this one, Jakar? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that, that he let out a, a sound. <laughs> now, I know this one is going to be particularly loved by fans, very sought after because of just how much detail is in this guy. Once again, one of the reasons I said originally when Sonic Prime was announced that it would be like our merchandising juggernaut was because every episode, not every episode, roughly every episode, there would be shoe variants, glove variants, all that different stuff because of like the multiple different universes. And this is a prime example of that, no pun intended. He has his little spikes, which he used to traverse all the different trees in the boss cage maze and get around that giant overgrown jungle. Same thing applies to the bottom of his shoes that looks very cool once again you have like like that jungle-esque green implemented in there as well with his hands and his gloves very happy that sega was chill enough to allow them to do something different with sonic's design to this level simply by changing the the shoes and stuff like that so very cool. I knew Jack Pacific was going to take advantage of this by making as many toys as they could with these different designs. This one is also able to stand up infinitely better than the other Sonic Prime figure, so this gets more points in my book. Even if I like the design of the New York City Sonic more, it's more traditionally Sonic, and I also like his shoes more. They look kind of like Yeezy Jordan-esque. This one is able to stand a lot more. There's a lot more detail here, and I think just as a figure, I prefer this one a lot more to the New York City 
Sonic, but still very, very cool. It's a darker shade of blue than the New York City Sonic. This one looks like it has a more washed blue. This one is a lot more vibrant. It's like they were able to get that down a little more, so that's cool. All right, so with that, that was wave two. Now for me to figure out what wave three was, I still don't remember. Now we got up the third wave of the Sonic Prime figures. We also got some new characters in the mix here, so this is very exciting. We have Dr. Deep, Black Rose, Sonic from the Grim, and Chaos Sonic. So, which one should we start off with first, Jakari? Chaos Sonic. Chaos Sonic. I had a feeling we were gonna go with Chaos Sonic. I love the design of Chaos Sonic, and I like the character of Chaos Sonic, but definitely was contested with some fans on this. It's, it's essentially our Metal Sonic of the show, but it's still, nonetheless, a very, very cool concept and character from New York City. On the back, you can see as 13 points of articulation, a mechanized monstrosity created by the Chaos Council shows up in drop two of the series to match Sonic in speed. I love how that's how they describe it. Shows up in drop two of the series. So, yeah, he did pop up in season two, I believe, and uh, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> Be like, yeah, he popped up in season two. So we're gonna go ahead and open him up. Okay, firstly, this is very well designed. Now, how well is he going to be able to stand? Pretty solid. Wow. Yeah, pretty good. I thought because like the limbs were so flimsy and the shoes weren't particularly large that he wasn't going to be able to stand too well, but he is able to stand pretty solid. He looks pretty good. Very nice. Very detailed. I love the different textures that they use on the figure. This part is more sleek, more see-through, more screen-like, and then the rest of the figure is more of that hard traditional plastic that you see. It definitely gives it its more robotic feel. You got the little details with, I want to call them speakers on the front of his mouth. You also have the jetpack on the back with that right there. That design looks very, very cool. Once again, sculpted hands. Very nice. This one's closed. This one's more traditional with it just being like a little, oh, I don't even know what I was trying to get out there. Um, yeah, there's not too much going on with this figure. It's just very cool. It's very accurate to Chaos Sonic. And once again, for this Chaos Sonic, we probably won't see merchandise of this character. I don't want to say ever again, but there's a very low chance we're going to get another at least action figure to this scale again. So definitely, if you guys see this in the wild, take advantage, pick it up, because there's not going to be a lot of Chaos Sonic merch, if any more, in the future, because Sonic Prime's over now. You know, Sonic Prime is no longer running, no plans to continue it, and because of rights, you know, with Netflix and Wild Brain, you might not see this guy again in terms of merchandise. So if you like Chaos Sonic or want just a Sonic figure that could go up very high in value, definitely swoop in if you see this guy in the wild. So yeah, that's Chaos Sonic. I'm feeling another Eggman, yeah? Oh yeah. All right, we got Dr. Deep from New York City right here. This is another member of the Egg Council. Let's flip him over. Once again, 13 points of articulation. This 20-something version of Dr. Eggman thinks of himself as a philosophical deep thinker and the most bohemian member of the committee. Not one of my particularly like favorite members of the Egg Council. I still love the baby Eggman. Kind of pissed we didn't get a figure of him. Uh, in fact, I think this is the only other figure they made of any of the uh, council members. All right, let's see what we got. Firstly, let's see the standability. Able to stand yeah. pretty well. One of the things I'm immediately noticing is the tattoo right here. You can see all of those little eggs and birds and stuff. A lot of detail in there already. You can see more stuff like his little patches right there. You can see his little belt buckle. The head turns just a bit. You can't do too much with it, obviously, due to a lot of the other parts of the figure, but you know, a lot of cool stuff with the hair work, his mustache, he even got back designs and stuff like that, the cuffs on his jeans, his shoes. Also love this, his little like green pearl bracelets. Very nice, love that. This is just very cool. There's not a lot going on here, but just it's a solid figure. And once again, it's like kind of crazy because like, you know, like traditionally with Sonic, the figures you get are Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, uh, Amy from time to time, Eggman's, but you don't really get a lot of stuff like, like ultra specific. And like this stuff is gonna be hard, hard to come by in a few years. Once again, open hands right here. This looks like he was meant to hold something. This one's closed, but there are pegs on the back of their feet. I just, I, I think that there were supposed to be more to the Sonic Prime 5 inch line, but I don't know, it's just a conspiracy. But yeah, we're not gonna see a lot of stuff like a Dr. Deep figure again, for instance. Like, you're gonna get more like Sonics and Shadows and Tails and Amy's and Knuckles, but 
stuff like this, this very specific character from Sonic Prime, you're not gonna see something like this for a long time. So shout outs to Jax for making this. Next up, I'm feeling an Amy. Even though we have three Amy's, they got another Amy. This one is Black Rose. This is from the Pirate Saga or the Pirate Dimension from No Place. Already am sensing a mist accessory which could have been used. We could have used some some swords, but it's fine. On the back you can see it has 13 points of articulation and Black Rose is an excellent navigator and fighter who not so secretly would rather be bashing in bad guy's skulls. Ugh. You like this one too? Yeah. Again, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> nice design. Would like to see a lot more No Place figures, but very happy nonetheless that we do have the Amy. Of course, this is pirate themed. I called it the pirate dimension, but the canonical name is No Place. So yeah, you can see right here, she has her little bandana over the top of her head, which is very cool. Her little ear poking out. You can see some of the design in the quills still around the main figure. The different stuff with like the gloves, you know, the stripes on like the pirate design, her boots, which are very, very nicely designed with the buckles and everything like that. It's articulated very well, stands very easily. It's a very simplistic figure, but it works very well. And for that reason, I think I might like this one a lot more than the Boss Cage Maze Amy, simply because I like this version of Amy more than the Boss Cage Maze. Amy. Also, it's just more Amy-like, you know? It just, it looks very much so like that character. It emits the energy that the character Amy gives, so I do like this. I don't know if this is like one of my all-time favorites of the Sonic Prime line, but I still very much so like it a lot. Definitely pick this one up. I don't have too much else to say on it, but still a very cool figure. Look at that, look at that wall building up. You see how many figures we got on there? We still got more of the crew coming because we have another Sonic on the gosh darn way, and this is Sonic from the Grim. Yeah, this is another variant. There's not too much different with this one than the other figures, but we'll show off the differences. 13 points of articulation, and it's the same bio for Sonic as the other That's Sonic lame. figures. I know. Let's bust him out. Alright, first thing I want to say, one of the things I love about these figures is the fact that every single Sonic, I'm not sure if you see, this one has a big, nice smile. This Sonic just has a little side smirk, this one as well, but of course it's a little different. I love that they added that difference to this one of giving him a big ol' cheesy grin. Of course the difference with this one is the design in his gloves. It's not too different from New York City, but it is slightly different. And of course the shoes are very different with there being kind of like a translucent purple to them from the Grim, which is very cool. Of course the Grim is like the, the big dark no-no place in Sonic Prime, so if I do have to make one complaint, the back quills Disgusting. Don't like that. Also the ears, not very cohesive with the rest of the figure. The legs as well, not very cohesive with the figure. Um, the head looks great, but it seems like the figure itself, you can see a lot of the design work on that. Not a big fan. Uh, just not very cohesive at all. This is probably, I want to say, the weakest Sonic Prime figure so far. I give them kudos for changing up the smile, changing up the head to make it different enough from the rest of the figures, but um, there's enough here to definitely lower the points a bit in terms of the Sonic Prime. And like, these all have a great quality control, so this is a little disappointing coming from uh, the Sonic Prime figures, but it's fine. It's not the worst Sonic figure ever, but definitely some problems here that I prefer like not look at anymore, so we're just gonna send him over here with Chaos Sonic. And that is all of wave three, which means we're now going on to the final wave of Sonic Prime figures. Now, let's explain something real quick. Why do we only have three figures, Ricardo? Well, let me explain this to you. On the back, Jax, on their final wave, they were so close to having like the perfect Sonic toy line and not doing any kind of like real re-releases. We have Sonic from New York City, a re-release from the first wave. So that is why I'm not just going to buy the same figure in a different wave. We already have that figure right here, so no real point in me picking that one up again. So that's why we only have three figures here from wave four, because there was a re-release in wave four that we don't really need. So we have Baton Rouge from No Place, our first Rouge figure of the video. It's honestly kind of surprising that it took them all four waves to get to Rouge. 15 points of articulation. That longs for the good old days when pirating meant more than collecting coconuts and grilling sea dogs. She has an accessory. Amy doesn't have an accessory. I'm sensing a little bias here, Jack Specific. So let's go ahead and take her out. There we go. And we can take her little sword out. Oh my god, the detail on this is amazing. Maybe that's why it took them so long to get to this figure. 
holy crap. And there she is. Got the Baton Rouge figure. The design on this is insane. We don't get a lot of Rouge merch, and we're definitely not going to see something like this, this version of Rouge in particular again for a long time. So this is very, very cool to have. Go ahead and take a look at all the details. Once again, you got the little bandana wrap around the head, which is very cool. Uh, the wings do, in fact, move, which might add to the articulation when she has some more than the other characters. You can see a little frowny face. She's not too happy what's going on, but you can also see the design around that looks like a corset a little bit. And then her gloves, and once again, those pirate themed shoes. Very cool. And you got that little wrap right there as well. But the biggest thing, of course, is her having a sword. None of the other characters really had a accessory outside of Thorn Rose Amy figure, so this is very, very cool to have. Definitely something that a lot of the wave was missing, a lot of the whole line was missing was accessories, so very happy to have this Baton Rouge figure. The more Rouge, the merrier, and I'm glad that they got around to finally, they didn't like close off the wave without doing a Rouge, because Rouge plays a larger role in Prime than like a lot of people think. You know, she's one of the main characters of that show, so very happy that one of the main cast members actually got at least one figure, so. All right, next up we have the Knuckles from New York City. This is our next Knuckles figure. We only have one so far, so it's great to have another one. Uh, this one is of course just called Nux. 13 points of articulation, a freedom fighter with the New York City uh, resistance. Nux fights tirelessly to free the city from the grip of the Chaos Council. Ooh, stands pretty good already. Yeah, and I love the detail on him as well. This one's more traditional-esque Knuckles than the other one. Of course, it's not the main Knuckles, but looks more similar to the character than the other one because it's not Boss Cage. This one's very, very cool. You can see a lot of the detail on him. I love his little headband with that little resistance thing right there. I can see all the detail around his arms and his gloves. There is a little stuff going on with the molding. You can see some dent marks in there to show some you know wear and tear from battles and stuff like that which is cool very happy with that detail inserted as well something i also noticed a lot about the sonic prime figures is the fact that their eyes are very like bright they're very bright eyes that is a very almost not even purple it's almost like a pinkish color that they got going on there with knuckles but um still though i really like this figure i once again them being five inches adds so much to these and like giving them so much detail even if it's an extra five dollars than what it typically is with jack sonic very happy. All right, next up we got Sonic Trooper from The Grim. This is from the final season of Sonic Prime. So kind of fitting that it's part of the final wave. On the back, you can see that it has 13 points of articulation created by nine to be his loyal, emotionless friends. The Grim Army are a religion of robots in the mold of Chaos Sonic. So yeah, let's, uh, let's bust this open. Guys, this is our final figure of the video. It's our final Sonic Prime oh, the figure. The grand finale. The grand finale. We got Sonic Trooper. I'm gonna kick this off, all right? Let's take a look. All right, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Very similar-ish to the Chaos Sonic design, but of course this is a Sonic Trooper. There were other Trooper designs of other characters, but of course they're just gonna go with the Sonic one because that is gonna probably sell the most. Very similar facial design to Chaos Sonic. Some differences obviously in the back and the sculpting and the molding and a lot of the body mainly as well. You got stuff like the jetpack and stuff but not too much going on with paint here because there's not you know a lot going on. I really like this aspect right here that's part of the character design in the show but I love how that translates into the figure itself as well. You can also see like I'm not sure if that shows too well in the lighting but the back of his head is very interesting you can just see like the flat surface where like the molding leaves off from like this gray piece right here but nonetheless this is very cool this is nice it's a cool little sonic prime figure not like one of the best of the entire line but still very nice to have a sonic trooper and with that we're just gonna toss him in here and boom bada bing everybody we have the entire wave the entire line of sonic prime five inch Figures. We got Baton Rouge. We got Black Rose. We got Dr. D. We got Sonic from Boss Cage. We got Shadow. We got Nine. We got New York Sonic. We got Thorn Rose. Mr. Dr. Eggman. Boss Cage Knuckles. We got Rusty Rose. Chaos Sonic. Sonic from the Grim Knucks. And the Sonic Trooper, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beautiful, 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 beautiful lineup. That is every single figure that they released. And I'm sure that this video has been gosh darn long enough. So with that, I'm just going to say I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry this took so long. 
to finally get to reviewing all of the Sonic Prime figures, but I'm very happy that we finally have them all and we're able to do this big video, unboxing them, talking about them all. I had a great time. But with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. Feel free to follow my social media, links to my Twitter and Instagram description below. You can follow those behind scenes in my life, future content, and all things Sonic the Hedgehog. But most importantly, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are subscribed. This is the normal news station in YouTube for all things Sonic. Whether it's video games, TV shows, movies, comics, merchandise, and more, we talk about it all. If you're looking for ways to support your channel, you can become a channel member and join our Patreon for behind the scenes and early look at videos but with that I hope you guys enjoyed we have more merchandise content on the way a lot more Sonic Movie 3 is right around the corner so get ready there's gonna be a lot of news and stuff to talk about in relation to that I love all you so much I'll see you in the next video peace out <laughs> Find a way.